For our first test, we're testing out life proof in Home Depot with our weed eater. So I'm going full five stars on the life proof against the weed eater. It tore up my weed eater string before I really even see a single scratch on the floor. This is kind of impressive. We're dropping our scratch resistant part two, Home Depot's life proof. This tool is meant to rip things apart. It's meant to take paint off stuff, to clean metal. So it's doing its job. Um, but again, this floor can't withstand that kind of damage. This is a one star. It's life proof from Home Depot and our paint eater test. The most aggressive scratch to this with our paint eater and our steel wheel. Both failed. We're going to go one star in terms of durability on this one. Without the life proof here from Home Depot, see how it holds up my heat gun. Similar, the end result, uh, this did not hold up quite as long. We noticed about 45 seconds in, it started to bubble a little bit and continued just similar to the Duralux with the scorching. Um, you know, I would say this definitely cooked to about well done. Line crew from Home Depot, structurally, I would say this is the worst. Right off the back, you can tell about half of the wear layer here is coming off. I could just separate and peel that. Ooh, lots of divots, even more so than just the glass shards. Not great, but I would say three. Definite gap here. We've actually punctured and put a dent here, so this is one. This is a fail. All right, so the last durability test we came up with, uh, we just threw this thing together. Should be fine. Take a look. Well, I think they all did pretty poorly here. We got a lot of damage. All right, moving on from our scratch and dent test with durability, we're gonna see how well these floors clean off permanent marker and how well they hold up for our chemical cleaners. You can see here the vinyl, uh, with it being waterproof, is not affected by the chemical like we were potentially afraid of. Um, markers come off pretty much instantly with a wipe. Again, the goof off, too aggressive for our vinyl floors. Paint thinner here though, surprisingly better. Um, not much residue, can hardly even tell anything was placed here, four out of five. Test test, we're gonna soak these in water for probably a week. We'll check them every day and update how it does and see how they perform with a lot of moisture. So let's get the water flowing. We'll put our five flooring pieces in. Yeah, they do. 